Hello and welcome to episode 13, part B. This is the solution for the if-then else problem. Um, so, one thing that's worth doing when you're building a program is looking at the individual things that you've been asked for and coding them one at a time. So, your program is going to come up with a random number between 1 and 5, it's going to ask the user to guess it, and then it's going to compare their guess with the actual answer. So, we're actually going to code these things one at a time. This is a much more effective way to handle these sorts of things. So, first part is get it to make up a number between 1 and 5. So, let's call our variable number. And as we saw, math uh, dot get random number. And of course, it's between 1 and 5. Beautiful. So, we've done part 1. Now, what's part 2? Part 2 was ask the user to guess the number. So, um, text window. So we're going to write a sentence on the screen. Uh, text window, right line. Uh, and we're going to write some literal text. What is my number? Uh, question. And we're going to collect their response. And I'm going to call that user answer. Uh, so that's going to be text window read. In fact, why not be specific? It's text window read number. So I've done part one. I've chosen a number, or it's chosen a number. I've done part two. I've asked the user for their guess, and I've collected it. This is where I need to do my if-then statement. So if user answer equals number. So in other words, they guessed right. Then, okay, well then I'm going to write on the screen text window. Right line, yes. Else, so in other words, if it doesn't, if user answer doesn't equal number, else, text window, and you know what, I probably could have just copied that code from above and modified it. Wouldn't have been a bad idea, actually. Um, no. And then, of course, I need to close my end if to let it know I'm finished doing that. So, let's have a quick look. So, run the program. There we go. What is my number? Eh, I don't know, 5. Okay, I wasn't right. Uh, let's run it again. What's my number? Now let's go 5 again. Oh, I got it that time. So, as you can see, my if then else works. So, if user answer equals number, then do this, else do that. So, that's how I solved this particular problem, and I hope your code was somewhat similar, at least in what it did, if not letter for letter.